Howdy folks, this monstrosity is the Zeta Science FX79 Buffalo FPV Flying Wing 2 meter wingspan. It's an absolute monster, provided by Banggood for the review. Now this comes uh, as a kit version from Banggood, so you're going to need some uh, extras such as a motor. So we've got a honking big 3548 I think it is, 3548. 900 kV motor uh, with the appropriate big prop. Uh, we've got a little bit of hardware, some plywood skeleton stuff to put in. A couple of servos. I'm going to change them for Metal Gear servos. Nice big uh, 50 amp ESC. Instruction book, motor mount. Let's get to it. There are some pretty unique features to the FX79. So we have an enormous capacity in here. Look at my hand in there. The nose comes off. You can mount an FPV camera right up in the nose there if you want to. A couple of little side pods here for putting more gear in. Uh, and we have optional flaps as well. They're connected at the moment. You can see there's servo holes there. The wings are removable. And uh, just by undoing this clamp here and a screw here, you should be able to pull the wings apart. But now these hinges look a bit flimsy to me, so first thing I'm going to do is strengthen them up with hot glue. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Scrape it all out. You're really just creating sort of a, a thin smear of hot glue. Hot glue. And I might just do it at the start and end of the hinge. You can stiffen up the hinges a fair bit if you're not careful. It'll do for the moment. I'll do it on the other side as well. Very good. Same with the other one too. Now the next thing I'm going to do is glue this main spar in and it sort of has to glue into the top of that slot. It has to be quite securely glued in here too because these two clips from the canopy push down on it. If it's not securely glued in it's going to push the spar down. Now I'm just using hot glue for everything for speed and well hot glue is very reliable I find. Now, just make sure we know what we're doing. We can slide it in without gooing it with the hot glue. And we need to have it sticking out an equal amount on either side. Let's just drizzle the hot glue in there. Slide it in and push it down. Bingo, that is done bit messy. You can clean that up. Good thing about hot glue is you can drizzle in some denatured alcohol and it'll release and you can pull it out. That's the theory anyway. So my next task is to glue the fin on the uh, main body part. Very nice. Job done. Now the wing is meant to be detachable so I've just tried it and it is quite secure. So I'll show you how that fits in. It just slides in there. Let me tighten up on this little clamp here. So we've got about a 20 millimeter bolt to secure the wing in there. Now we're screwing together. Very good. That is very secure now. TGY9018 Middle Gear servos, they're my favourite reliable little servos. Make sure I'm centred up. I'm going to have to chop out a little bit more foam. And these control horns, just glue in there but I'm going to put a reinforcing patch over as well. 
I don't trust them just gluing in like that. Choppers. It's quite tough foam actually. You don't need much, just a little bit of a blob in the bottom. So you can always pull it out if you need to. So just have to connect up a servo extension, poke it through the hole. I've made up some safety bands, so I'll slip them on the push rod. Guess we're going to need a bit of up, up trim as we usually do with wings. There we go, I can adjust that if I have to later on. Put the safety band on. Let's give it a wiggle with the servo tester. We have plenty of throw there. <laughs> wow. That's probably way more than we need, but we'll play with that later on. Bit of tape just for safety. And to stop those servo leads from flopping around. A bit more efficiency. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with these at the moment. I don't want to put them in permanently, so I'm just going to tape them on with some clear packing tape. And here comes the lawnmower man. And for the moment I'm just going to tape the nose on too. Now on the RC groups I have read that the motor needs a little bit of up angle uh, to make it fly correctly under power. And it looks like it already has it built into this motor mount. There is a bit of angle on that and the motor mount only goes in one way so that's all good. To make sure I get a good glue bond I'm going to roughen up all these surfaces on the motor mount. Just to make sure it's going to bond. Don't want it flying off. Everybody put it on here. not going anywhere and I'm going to tape that as well just for extra security now I'm going to glue this uh, reinforcing patch on around the control horn for extra strength to spread the load across more foam this is just ID card plastic hot glue provided extra plywood bits and pieces too for mounting equipment if you want to put them in these are just optional you don't really need to use them haven't worked out where that goes yet and up on the nose there's a like a camera mount that bolts through either side little uh, plywood washers as well for bolting on but I won't use that to start off with um, that one might be useful don't know where that goes maybe somewhere like that for the battery so this one is the battery mount equipment mount up the top here And a little pad, a bit of heat protection for the foam from the ASC. And now for the very tricky task of mounting the motor after the motor mount is already in place. Got some Loctite on the on the bolts. Yes. It's 
So after a lot of fiddling the motor is in, now I can connect the ESC and receiver and bring this puppy to life. Okay, now it's time to connect up a battery, make sure everything is turning in the right direction. I've balanced the prop, I've set the throws, programmed it up. I'm going to calibrate the ESC. That's good. For the first time ever, the motor is turning in the right direction. That is amazing. Numbers facing forward. I'll do a dynamic balance in a little while. So to do a dynamic balance, once you balance the prop, what I do is just try the prop in different angles, going through about 45, 60 degree changes, and there'll be one position where the vibrations are a lot less. That feels good, I'll leave it there. That's a lot smoother. All right, so now we need to do a maximum draw test just to make sure my ESC isn't going to blow up. Having trouble holding it. Plenty of power, I think, on 3S. Now the final task is to balance the CG and there's a couple of foam nipples underneath to balance the plane on and I found with two 3S 3000s just sitting comfortably in the nose sort of butted right up to the front balance is pretty right tiny bit nose heavy so I'll have to devise some method of holding them in place now because that battery strap is too far back now I really need to come up with something like that moved forward so I've made up this little battery tray I'm just going to glue that in now with heaps of glue Excellent. Balanced. Lovely. So there it is all together. One monstrous two meter wingspan FX79 Buffalo Flying Wing from Zeta Science and Banggood.com. Alright, let's go and take it for a fly.